Hi everyone! So today we're doing a pick a moon card. We're gonna see what each moon has to say. And I want to say thank you everybody for all your donations. They've been amazing and thank you. And if you want to donate, it's down in the description along with my website. So check it out and I'll see you at your moon! Hi, number one. <clears throat> so let's see what that first moon card has to say. Off, <clears throat> off the top, what I'm getting is that you need to go on your own. Whatever situation you're in is sucking the life out of you. It's not good for you. It's not doing you any good. Sorry, it says it that many times. <laughs> Um, for some of you, I'm getting a third party situation and honestly, that alone should be enough reason so you can go on your own because once you go on your own and start focusing on your happiness, you'll find someone who actually loves you for you and not for whatever you can give them. And then for some of you, I'm getting that it's, it's time. It's just time for you to go on your own. You've been sitting and stagnant for too long and it, it's time. You need to go do something. And for another group of you, it's confirmation that you're starting your own path and that's the right thing to do. Um, if you go out on your own, you'll be able to be fulfilled and find someone who helps fulfill you because whatever you're in now is just all draining. So good luck. Hi, number two. So let's see what the second moon card has to say. <clears throat> Off the top, I'm getting that there's been a lot of cracks in your foundation, meaning that there's been a lot of epiphanies, a lot of self-awareness, looks like you're actually getting, doing shadow work. Congratulations. Good job. Not an easy thing to do either. <clears throat> yeah, 
you've really been working on a lot of heartache, really trying to start something that is for you. That's great. Keep going, you're headed in the right direction. And I know that it's taken a lot of work and it feels like that it's, sometimes it's not gonna end, it just keeps coming, but it will end, it will get better, and you will find at the end of the tunnel light. Um, but don't, don't think that there's actually like a finished point. Um, it's it it's a work it's work that you're doing and you heal and you move on and you keep moving but you you don't get rid of your shadow it's a, it's still there so part of the shadow work is like oh i'm going to get rid of all of my bad qualities you don't have any bad qualities there's just some th some things that human behavior like emotions you won't be just reacting because you're emotional. You'll be able to actually feel the emotion, acknowledge it, and then realize, oh, this is trying to tell me something. It's not me personally. So basically the point is though that when you're done with your shadow work, don't just don't think that there's like a, oh, I'm finished point. There's always more work to be done, but it does get better. And this hard, 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 hard ache, <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Um, that will get healed and then you won't carry that pain anymore. And you'll, you'll only just have the lessons learned from that. So the pain will go away, but don't think that there's like a, oh, I'm graduated from, you know, doing self-examination because self-examination is needed even in current times. So the pain will go away and you will find your light. So keep going. Good luck. Hi, number three. So let's see what the third moon card has to say. You are really coming into your power. That is awesome. Yay! <laughs> Done a lot of healing. Started working on your own thing. Really finding what you enjoy, what you like and love. Woo! Congratulations. Ah, that's amazing. Sorry, I don't get very many of these really good reads, so, oh, feels good. All right, so, how many messages for this? Keep working. Keep going. Be proud of what you've done. The universe says that you should be proud of, of the work that you've done and where you've come from, and keep going because... <clears throat> If you keep following that light like you're doing, you will come into your full power. You're not quite there yet, but when you do get there and you feel good, then that's when love is going to come in for whatever that means for you. So, good job. Hi, number four. So, let's see what the fourth moon card has to say.
Um, the first message I'm getting is that you have <clears throat> um, you've done a lot of self-reflection and a lot of inner work and you're done as far as it goes for healing yourself and having any hang-ups about who you are and you've really accepted yourself and right now or so far in the messages I'm getting that this is a confirmation that whatever path that you're on is the right one and it's really bringing you into your um, into your your earthly self as far as your body your finances your time um, yeah balance there we go that's, that's the word I was looking for <clears throat> um, and if this is kind of a question about if the person that you're with is is the right one or not then yes if you met them after you done after you got after you found inner peace if you kind of found them around that time or while you're working on it then yeah they're the right one but if you're going backwards no A lot of the fear that's coming up with the current relationship that you're in are all the they're like echoes of past trauma so now that you've really healed the trauma now you have to change your thought process because whoever you're with now is good for you and you have to trust in the universe that look you know I still need help realizing if this is good or not and um, they are so whenever these fears come up the best way to get rid of these fears is to talk to your person about it and tell them what it is that you're afraid of or whatever is on your mind talk to them about it because then that will help your relationship build on a more intimate level and a trust-based level because you're being vulnerable which is putting trust in that other person and if that that this other person can help you work through these fears and then you could then you won't have them anymore but, you know, it's like, yeah, you've healed the trauma, but, man, that's all I've ever known. So, say something. Don't, don't be mean about it. You know, just say, like, hey, some, this bugs me. Or something like that. And talk about it. Because actually talking it, talking it out loud through with somebody can really bring a different perspective and can heal these fears. Because that's really what the only thing that's kind of left but they're still there so you can work through them and you've done the hard part the fears are are a lot easier to deal with <laughs> in my opinion so make sure you talk to them and if you can't write it in your journal or however you worked through your shadow work do that with this too good luck Hi, number five well, let's see what the fifth moon card has to say.
like that um, you're really in in your power and following your light, bringing people together. It's awesome. Conquering your dreams. Get it. Yeah, and helping to transform the world. That's fantastic. walked away from everything that wasn't good for you. Yep. In your full power, magician, getting it. Yeah. Um, keep studying. Keep, keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, I know it might feel like that um, you're not getting or as far along as you thought you would be, but you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Where you're at now is part of the journey to get to where you're at. So every day is just a new little building block to get there. So just keep making these little steps and try to keep just focusing on things that make you happy. And all of those things will come together and it takes a while to get that much stuff going together. So just, just keep going. You're doing great. You'll get there. You are there. You are there now. So appreciate it now and just keep, keep going.